Hey guys, here today I have a little tutorial. Um, it came up a little while ago on the forums that someone was looking for a, a guide to set up their FlySky i6 completely from the beginning. You know, like if for some reason you're, you've got ready to fly and your settings got erased, or if you just bought this out the box and you need to set it up with the quad. And I realized there's not really too much out there on this, so I decided to just go ahead and make a video real quick to help anyone out and, you know, have this out there for future reference. So what we're going to do is go ahead and set up a brand new model from the beginning. It's not much to it, but we're going to go ahead and do it. So first, I'm going to want to turn it on. And this is going to work for the FlySky i6, the Ishin i6, the Turnigy i6. They're all pretty much the same, with the exception of Ishin i6. Only thing you're going to want to do different is when you turn it on, you're going to want to hold these two trim buttons in. Well, of course, turn the switches up, but you're going to want to hold those in so you can get into the menu. Okay? That's the only difference with that one, though. But we're going to be working with the original FlySky branded model. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the menu. Let's go get a new model selected. Let's see. FlySky 10. All right, so... This is like pretty much starting brand new. No settings are copied. Um, you're going to want to go in here. Of course, you have you won't have to select the model, but you're going to go in here. Model name. Give it a name. It is important to give it a name. A name if you plan to have more than one model. Um, so go ahead and give it a name. I'm not going to do that because I don't need to. <laughs> um, oh, but when you do give it a, a name, now it's Bly Sky, right? You're going to want to... Hold cancel to save your settings. Everything on this transmitter pretty much to save settings is holding the cancel button, which is backwards. Everyone knows, but that's what it is. Um, type select. Now, I'm doing this from a multi rotor point of view. So if you have a plane or a glider, uh, I don't set those up like that, but or I don't have those to set up. So your results may be different, but this is for multi rotors, quads, drones, you know. Um, now, the funny thing is, these are the options you have helicopters, variable pitch, fixed pitch, all these helicopters, right? But for multi rotors, you're actually going to want to leave it on airplane or glider. And not going to model copy. We can, well, we can model reset. Nah, this is going to reset the name. You're going to want to go down to. Actually, you don't want to go anywhere. That's about it. Setting it up for a multi rotor. You're gonna go in there. Um, other things you may want to do: go into auxiliary channels. Um, stock out the box. Channel five and six are set to these knobs up here. I don't know why that's even the stock option, but to change that. And um, this is with the ten channel mod. So if you have an unflashed i six, you will only have channel five and six. You won't have seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, but to go ahead and switch it to, you know, whatever switch you'd like to use, just set it to that switch, uh, press OK to go down. So now we have switch A and we're going to put switch C as well for three position. So you can have like, you know, an arming switch and your three flight mode switches. Okay. So A and C, hold cancel and done. Sub trims shouldn't have to mess with that. Dual rain expo shouldn't have to mess with, mess with it with that. Switch assign, throttle hold, none of that. Right now, we're ready to turn on our receiver and bind to the receiver. And like I said, it's pretty simple. Just put it on airplane, put yourself a model name, and that's pretty much it until you connect to the receiver. So here we have a FS IA6B. We're going to demonstrate with this one. Um, there's a bunch of Fly Sky receivers out right now. I'll talk on those a little bit, but we're going to demonstrate with this one here. So, to bind to our receiver now, now we have our transmitter ready to bind. Just going to turn it off. You're going to want to hold this button, the bind button, right here. Power on the transmitter. As you can see, RX binding, so it's ready to connect to our um, receiver. Uh, now, with this, I'm going to hook it up uh, S bus or I bus actually, which is just just for simplicity right now. 
But first, what you're going to want to do is with this model, with the IA6B and the IA10B, you're going to want to put this little bind plug right here into the last slot. And go ahead and power up your receiver. Let's see here. And we should have, let me see. Do I have my plug plugged in? Oh. <laughs> Helps to plug the receiver, as you guys can see real quick. Don't do this. Make sure it's actually plugged in. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> I have to plug the plug in. Um, basically, you're just gonna gonna want to power this. You can power it with an external five volt. Um, if you're running PWM with the eight plugs, just make sure the one with the three plugs is plugged in and it's providing power. Have a bind plug in. Go ahead, plug it up. I'll try to get the transmitter back in view. And go ahead and plug this up. And as you saw, it said bind okay. We got a red light on here. And then what you're gonna and you see we have telemetry coming back, so it is bound. Not all of the receivers will give you telemetry back, uh, but this one will. Most of them will. IA6, IA10, X6B, I believe they all give you readings back. I think the only one that doesn't is the A8S, the little micro one. But anyways, after that, you're going to want to go ahead and turn your transmitter off, unplug your receiver, pull out your mind plug, and then you are ready to hook everything back up without the mind plug, and things should be good to go. Should be all connected. There we have it. Should be ready to go. It's not, Of course, it's not set up, but that that's it. You're ready and bound. You're bound and ready to go. Now, the rest, the next steps are going to be in your software. Okay, so here we have it. I have it plugged up to my computer, to my laptop. We've got the transmitter on. We've got the receiver on. Now, you can do, you can start setting this up without everything plugged in, but I'm, I'm just going to leave it plugged in since it's plugged in. Go ahead into your configurator, whichever one you're using. If it's clean flight or beta flight, don't really have instructions for anything else. Um... I won't have instructions for anything else. You can see, didn't even realize I had beta flight on this board. Okay, so anyways, had to switch over beta flight real quick. So what you're gonna want to do is go into ports for iBus setup, uh, and the way I have it hooked up is on the UART. So you're gonna want to switch whatever UART to Serial RX and save and reboot, and then you want to go to configuration. Anyways, go ahead and jump into here. It's right here on the configuration tab. This is a, I haven't actually used this beta flight since it's update, since it updated, but you can want to go in here, right here to serial receiver. You see we have PPM. If you're running it in PPM, PWM, if you're doing that, but we're going serial base. And for anything fly sky and serial base, 99% of the time is going to be iBus. So you're going to want to hit select iBus. Go down here, save and reboot. All right. So you can come back from that. And now you set up so your your flight controller is talking to your uh, radio in the right language, basically. Um, and then from there, you, you'll probably want to come back into the configurator. Just double check everything is working right and how you expect it to work. Go ahead and plug in a battery if you need to to power your board like I do with this one um, go into receiver tab and make sure that your channels are where they should be uh, and make sure that your radio is talking to <laughs> anyways got it all hooked up here now so you're going to want to make sure that your channel mapping on the screen matches um, what it should be on your transmitter. If not, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to change it. But you, And then you also want to make sure that your throttle ranges with the uh, FlySky brands is, well, anything in basically clean flight or beta flight is going to be 1,000 minimums, 2,000 maximums, and 1,500 center or as close as possible. You see, I got uh, 1,500, 1,499, 1,500. That's close enough. And 
you know, make sure your your maximum values are up there close to 2000. Like like that. Make sure your switches. Okay, now, if something is not in on the right channel, because the way this is set up, as you can see right here, it's aileron uh elevator throttle rudder right and then one two three four okay so that's the basic stock setting how this comes um and throttle is usually always channel three that's why it is the third letter now if you need to change something in here like if yours is in a different order you actually just change the letters around type it in whichever order you know channel one channel two channel three channel four type it like that and click save but most of the time it's going to be like this and you're not going to need to change that but if you do need to change it just change the letters type save all right and if you're confused about what channel is what you can actually go into the menu in here in your transmitter go to, down to display and it's going to show you what's what okay so channel one is over here Channel two, channel three is of course the throttle, and channel four right here. And then channel five and six. Okay? So that's that. Um, I think we're pretty much done with the setup. Once you verify this is working, then of course you're gonna want to go in here and set your modes. Uh, now auxiliary one is like gonna be channel five. So whichever one you have for channel five, it's gonna be right here. Set that. For auxiliary one and so yeah how I have it set up right here I'm arming with the switch so I'm arming with channel five and channel uh, auxiliary three this isn't set up for this transmitter it's actually on here it would be auxiliary two go ahead and change that for this video auxiliary two click save see so I have angle horizon and air mode and you know now it's working with my three position switch. Since since this is the stock firmware, if you have a stock firm, firmware, you're only gonna have auxiliary one and auxiliary two. If you have a modded firmware, you have all 10 channels, so you can put it on auxiliary, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't really matter. But anyways, that's about it guys for getting it, getting your initial setup. Go back and verify everything is correct and save. Make sure you hit save on every page. So let me go ahead and change this back because I'm gonna forget. <laughs> Um, now there are special circumstances that will be different than mine. Like I said, this was an example for iBus specifically. Um, now other receivers, other flat sky receivers, like here you have the 88S, the X6B and the IA10. The IA10 setup is going to be exactly the same as what you saw here with the IA6B. The X6B is going to be nearly the same, except for you're going to have to hold this bind button right here and power the receiver while you're holding that bind button. Okay. And same thing with the 88S. You're going to have to hold this bind button right here while you power the receiver and make sure you already have your, your transmitter in bind mode. Okay. So I think that's about it. Um, and like I said, this was just general knowledge. Just wanted to put it out there. Um, this is going to be for your Fly Sky i6, your Ishin i6, Turner G, all the i6 models. You can follow this to the T. Um, you will probably be able to figure this out if you're using some of the other Fly Sky transmitters, Fly Sky or Turner G, Fly Sky rebranded, Ishin rebranded uh, transmitters. But anyways, I think that's about it. Go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, hope this helps someone out there. For my regular people, thank you guys for sticking around. Um, if you guys want to see more videos from me, please, please, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and thanks for stopping by. See you next time.